there, welcome back to Vine Inspiration. Julia here with another tutorial for you. And today I'm going to teach you how to play Colors of the Wind from the movie Pocahontas. I'm really excited to teach you this song because I really love it myself. And let's just dive into it right away. I'm going to play the song for you once on the violin and there I also show you all the fingering of the songs. You can find the sheet music of the song below this video. And after playing the song through once, I am going to show you some specific parts of the song and how to practice them. some parts that we already played before. So this was the whole song and right now I want to give you some specific tips on how to play this song. The first tip I want to give you is that um, the first note, so this one, so the open D string, that will be an up bow and it's also an upbeat and normally we play upbeats with an up bow and an up bow as you remember is bowing up towards the sky so as you see the point of the bow. Um, the tip of the bow is going up towards the sky and we do that because we want the accent to be on the second note on the first beat of the song so we don't want to play like so that's why we play a down bow on the second beat because naturally the down bow always sounds a little bit more heavy when you're playing the violin so let's see what other tips I want to give you. Mm, yes, I guess something important also is to play it a little bit softly. So there are two ways of playing this song. I'm going to show you the first one. So this is of course exaggerated, but really try to play it a little bit softly. And one thing that can help is to play your notes slurred. I forgot the English word. Okay, so uh, to play your notes slurred, you just have to play both notes on one bow. So 
And you can also do simple exercises to practice this. So just play one, three, three, one on one bow. You see, down, down, and up bow, up bow. And then you can try to bind it together. So you try to play the whole song like this with a lot of slurred notes. And so forth. Another thing you can do, like I also said with last tutorial, The Lion King, is to make sentences and make it sound musical. So what I mean with that is you can play the song like and it would be as if you would be talking like I said before in the other tutorial it would be like you are talking all the time like this and you are not making any differences in dynamics it sounds really really boring in a way to talk like this and I, I guess your also your playing style sounds more boring and I will show you what it sounds like if I would play everything with the same dynamic. <laughs> Right now I'm making differences in my dynamics and I'm playing So all the time I see it like a wave we are going to up and down so the sentence starts really softly and it gets more expressive all the time and then it gets softer all the time so I will show you and soft again and loud and back to soft again and right now the second so sentence starts so that was the first mus musical sentence of the song so that is something you can do okay let's see for other tips so we also have this part of the song on which things uh, start to be a little bit intense and it is like a kind of bridge thing and it sounds like this. And right there I would ask you to play with a uh, very loud and with a lot of dynamic like they also do in the original song. Also, if you downloaded the sheet music from Amazon, you will also see in the last few beats, you will see this sign, which looks like, like this. Like, it's like a half a circle with a little dot in it. And this means that you can uh, keep playing this long note as long as you want to. So, um, in, for the people that don't have the sheet music, it is at these notes. So... So there you can kind of decide yourself how long you want to play the note and try to make it go slower. It is completely at the end of the song. So there you can just try to get a little bit slower until the song ends. It sounds more beautiful. So right now I can show you what it sounds like if you don't slow down. And right now if you slow down. As you also notice, the ending is a little bit less abrupt. So because I already kind of introduced that it is going to be the ending because I slowed down and it feels a little bit more natural in this way. And maybe you felt it this way too. But of course, this song is open to anyone's interpretation. So if you want to do some things different, just do it your way. I think songs get more interesting if everybody puts their own kind of musical ideas into it. These are some of my ideas and some of the things I do when I play this song. I hope they helped you 
And also make sure if you didn't do that yet to comment down below if you liked the tutorial. I really love to see your comments. And even if I don't have time to reply to all of them, I really read all of them. And I really value all of you who help me to support this channel and also to make it more visible for other people. Because on the moment you comment and like my videos, other people will see my videos too. And I just really like to reach more people and to help more people to learn how to play the violin. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in two days for my next tutorial. And it's going to be a surprise what tutorial it will be. So keep tuned for that one. Goodbye.